Yo, 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 what is shaking, Bacon? I'm really sorry about that. I will never put you through that again. Anyways, today we are going to be taking a look at a new plugin called Base Raiders. This plugin adds land claims to your Minecraft server along with a bunch of other really cool features. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and configure base raiders, and then I will give my thoughts on the plugin at the end. Typical Crafted Croy video. And also, this is a premium plugin. You can get it on Spigot MC for around $7 and Built by Bit for around $10. And before you go and freak out, I did get this plugin for free for making this video, but all thoughts will be completely my own. All right, let's get in with it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing that you will want to do is head to the Spigot or Built by Bit page and download base raiders. And then you will also be needing essentials for an economy system. You, if you have another economy system, then it probably will work, but I'm just going to be using essentials. And then we will also need vault. And even though it says that it's only compatible with up to 1.17, it does work with 1.21. Back when I first started out, I, that scared me and I didn't use vault, but it works fine. So might also want placeholder API. You don't need this, but that way you can use the base raider placeholder so then you want to head to your little server here and your file manager and into your plugins folder and then we will just want to go ahead and drag and drop all of these different files in there ignore the other four jars i had in there those are for me and then you want to go into your console and start or restart your server okay there we go so we can go ahead and type pl in console and see now we have base raiders and all of the other plugins so there you go. That's how you install base readers. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye. No, nah, we're not done that easily. Let's go ahead and check it out in game. There we go. Now we're in the server. I, I, I totally didn't try recording this earlier. So let's go ahead and type base. This is the base command. Oh, so you can go ahead and type base give and then your name. And then we'll just do basic protection. There are all these other different ones and then one. So we have a protection block. Now let's just go ahead and place it. And right when we place it, it has these holograms right out of the box, looks really nice. And then if we right click on it, we can see that this generator, there's a fuel and then upgrades. And we can also see that there are all these different st stats. Check the statistics. So let's say we wanted to upgrade our generator. So we can go into our upgrades and then just left click to add that to the generator. And then you can also upgrade your storage for it there we go it's over cap so this is as much as it'll go for the basic protection this, you can make more different types of protections in the configuration and then we can also upgrade the fuel capacity so what the fuel is is basically in one day and 14 hours it will start to decay and then once it's done decaying then players will be able to edit my base and then we can also we so we can add more fuel let's just add as much fuel as we possibly can there we go so now we have one week and so this is really good for basically making it so your players have to keep logging into your server to add fuel so their claim doesn't disappear so just keep that in mind and then we can also upgrade the range as well so right here so what's nice about this plugin is if we go far enough out, we can see these particles. So let's just place this right here. And then if we head back to here and we upgrade our range size. There we go. It's right here. It's somewhere around here. Yeah, th there we go. It, it's like right here, but I don't see the particles anymore. Okay, there we go. Now let's test out the protections that it has. Okay, so I'm on my alt account and I'm not trusted in the claim. So let's just go over here and I have now entered. And if we try to break things, then it won't work. Okay, so if we go ahead and place the lava right at the claim, it will not go in. So that's nice. Basically, you can't like burn the, the claim down. And I also cannot PVP in here. Probably because he's in, yep. There we go, I can't PVP. But do you see how it says health 300? If we start to mine this block, then the health will go down. And then once it reaches zero, then this protection is off and I can like start to do things like PVP. Get out of here, nobody likes you. You're a scumbag YouTuber, dude. And then there we go. However, we cannot claim it until it's like decayed, but the lava still won't flow in here. But I can place it in here. 
So right here is a tiny protection block. And then I place this down. This is the small protection. It is very small, look at that. So you can also see if we go up too high, then the particles are there as well. And let's say that I wanted to grant access to Crafted Croy to my base. So base, we can do trust and then Crafted Croy. So then it will expire in 60 seconds. So I have to do slash base invites on here. And then if you left click, it will deny it. But if you right click, then it will accept it. So there we go. Now I have access into that claim so i can go over here and into this little protection and i can edit things but we can type base untrust crafted croy and now i cannot do things anymore so if you're an admin and you want to admin abuse or you just need to go inside somebody's claim you can still do base bypass and then your name. So now I can do things again. And if I toggle it, now I can't. So that's a nice feature. And once again, I can interact with this and then I can destroy it basically. And now we can see the health is going back up. So let's break it down again. And then I can edit it, but then it went, oh, there, there we go, it's going back up again. Look at that. So now I can't do that. So pretty cool. And obviously if you don't want the health feature to be enabled, you can disable that in the config, which is where we're going right now. So all aboard the config.yml train. Woo woo. So yeah, go into the base raiders folder in the plugins folder and go into the config. So right here are all of your different placeholders and the special thanks to all these guys. Thank you everybody for helping with this plugin. And we can also see that there are all these emojis that you can use here or anywhere else. This is like the no access message. So you can configure this however you'd like. So you can edit all of the different GUIs right here. Here are all your commands. So those commands from earlier, you can change like what they, what they look like sort of. And then here are all your different types of protections. So the default limit for protections is three. You can make different amounts. So if you want VIPs to have more protections than just regular people than you can pay to win, you know? So right here we have gear, which is going to add health to protection. So if your protection gets slow, then you can add some health to it. We can also add some fuel to it. So remember that fuel from earlier. So these items can add that to it. So in the handlers.yml, you can configure what worlds you want the claims to be enabled in. So right here, any, I would probably recommend getting rid of that because we don't want them to be able to place it in like the spawn world for for instance and then you can also see that the tnt regen and then some burning regen and then discounts and all that so a lot of good stuff so finally on the wiki there you can basically see everything that i've talked about and here are some more of the commands if you don't want to watch this video which you've already made it this far and then there's also a resource pack that you can get in their discord server and set it up you basically just put these in the guis and stuff and then it will make it look like this so it looks pretty nice and then you can also configure the custom model data for different items and right here you can read more about the plugin as well okay so here's the part of the video where i discuss my thoughts on the plugin and whether you should buy it or not so to start out with some positives this plugin definitely feels like it had a lot of love put into it it just works really well right out of the box and it's relatively simple to understand and use this is also the first plugin that i've ever seen to use the small chat messages in the default message files which is really nice because it looks amazing right out of the box granted i may have noticed a couple bugs but you have to keep in mind that this plugin is relatively new so that's to be expected but if i I had to say something negative about this plugin it'd be that this one wiki page is missing there you go you happy so whether you should buy this plugin or not is completely up to you it's less than half the price of lands or grief defender and it's a million times better than i can't even say it it's so bad Ugh. and if you end up buying it and deciding you don't like it then you're really not out much so it's about the price of a meal at mcdonald's or something i think if you decided to go with this plugin instead of something like lands or grief defender you would be perfectly happy with it it works insanely well and has a ton of great features. But what do you think of base traders? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or if you have another plugin you would like me to take a look at and also join my Minecraft servers, join my Discord server for support. I don't know, you've heard this stuff like a million times. I'm going to head out now, so happy crafting.